Brazilian football legend Pele has died following a long battle with cancer. His agent Joel Fraga and his family confirmed on Thursday. His daughter Kelly Nascimento took to Instagram as the news broke to post a tribute to her father accompanied by a photo of family members holding his hand as he rested in a hospital bed. Pele had been hospitalized since November with multiple ailments including a respiratory infection. Well, joining us live to discuss this uh, is uh, Muda Shiroshito, is Plus TV's Africa Sport Anchor. Thank you so much for joining us tonight, Muda. Thank you very much, um, Olamide. All right. Uh, what can you say about the life and times of uh, the great uh, football legend and how is the world reacting to his death? That's um, the, he will surely be missed um, because um, he was one of the first um, global um, icons in the world. And not just football, but beyond football. Um, second is um, next to is um, the late um, Muhammad Ali. These um, two athletes has brought global reckoning to the world of football. Um, Pele just uh, made us um, the world that is goes beyond just being a talented um, footballer to one of the most um, popular um athletes um, across the globe and his death has brought so many mixed reaction uh, most especially um the fact that the world is celebrating him um right now and he is the only um player across the globe to have won um, three um world cup and um, for more than 60 years the name pele has been synonymous with soccer he played in four world cups and is the only player in history to win three world cup his legacy stretched far beyond his trophy and a remarkable goal scoring um, record he's a perfect gentleman and um, both on and off the field he has is a perfect example of what um, a, a a a soccer player is and if you look at how humble his background is as a child his first taste of soccer involved playing with barefoot and uh, with socks and rags and rolled up into a ball a humble beginning that could grow into a longer and a fulfilled um, fruitful career but let's look at it is the fact that um um in in 2015 um we all know what he, he did he was famous in brazil not just in brazil um beyond like i said earlier uh, global um football icon he was a role model to a lot of people and um, let's not forget in 1958 world cup when he made his world cup debut for brazil age 17 it's called brazil only goal in the in that quarterfinal victory against wales and then went on to um, score a hat trick in the semi final against France. And um, before he did a two goal against um, Sweden and um, the host in 19 in 58 World Cup. So you can see how fantastic he, uh, fantastic um, um, football icon is. And let's not forget um, the issue of um, his death started from years ago when he was diagnosed for colon cancer. And um, um, he has been able, he has been on and off um, the field. So I think he is going to be remembered and the celebration of himself, his life, um, they will not just end today. It's something we'll continue talking for a very long time. And that's also the exit of another um, icon. Let's not forget a few years ago, um, another footballing legend, Diego Maradona um, of um, Brazil died. So um, it's a continuous one, a continuous life of celebration for the Brazilian soccer legend who died just today at the age of 82. Hope uh, Miss Gentle soul rest in peace. Uh, thank you so much for joining us on the news tonight, Modashiro. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.